Hey guys, uh, it's Herb. Welcome to another uh, little dev vlog. So uh, I just finished uh, coding the uh, the Claymore, so I want to show you guys that right away because uh, I'm pretty proud about it. So pretty much like uh, last two weeks, I've been coding uh, Claymores and other items. Oh, hold on here. <laughs> this guy had zero chances. So, uh, what I was saying before I was uh, interrupted by this gentleman is uh, that I just finished uh, coding the claymores and uh, other items uh, that the rangers can use. So pretty much you use uh, items by right clicking a guy and you use items and this guy is going to use a radio. So I'm going to show you that uh, later on. But right now, uh, what I want to show you guys is the claymore. So uh, here it is. So a claymore is pretty much for those guys that are new to killing other humans are like directional mines uh, which uh, spread in a 60 degree angle and um, they um, pretty much throw a uh, bunch of ball bearings uh, hurting anybody in, their, in its path. So uh, it's a pretty nasty weapon but if you're a full rangers uh, behind enemy lines it is a very useful item to have in your inventory. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's uh, see how that works. So pretty much like just like I did, you right click the arranger, you select the claymores in the context menu, and you put it down like this. So the claymore will face the direction where uh, the soldier is facing, and pretty much the kill zone of that weapon is a 60 degree angle in front of it, up to I would say 250-ish pixels. But the uh, damage needs to be tweaked because uh, close to your claymore, it's pretty much death. And uh, far to your claymore, you know, you can have like. Oh, look at it. Yeah. So, far is a lot of that, is uh, not a lot of damage. And you may actually not catch a ball bearing in the face if you're like that far. So, it's uh, it depends. But. The, the trick of a claymore is like it can be set and that's new into in this version of Ricondo is that you can right click the claymore and set it to offensive or defensive. So let me explain it to you guys. An offensive claymore would be a claymore that you need to click on it in order to activate. A defensive claymore is a claymore that is armed and you know due to a See, this is what happens when a spider hole guy does not detect my team, and we detect him. So, that's pretty cool. So, in games, it's kind of funny because the guy inside has no idea we're still around me because maybe he's looking somewhere else. But we know he's there. So, what you can do is that you can go around him, or you can call a artillery on him, or you can toss the grenade on him, or you can do all sorts of creative things, you know, uh, to ruin his day. So anyways, that's pretty interesting. That's cool. That mechanic worked. So, but anyways, uh, back to uh, claymores. So a defensive claymore uh, will uh, trigger itself if somebody, an enemy, right? Not this guy, because uh, he's, uh, he's an ally. But if an enemy walks within that 60 degree angle, it's, he's gonna trigger the claymore and it's gonna set up the claymore. So you're asking yourselves that why would I even never set up my uh, claymore uh, as defense because you know it's kind of pretty cool it's, automa it's uh, automatic so it's you know it's gonna blow up the thing is like if it's an offensive mode you have the you have the control over that claymore so if you like say you spotted a um a trail and you set up a couple of claymores and you know you put them on offensive mode and usually there's a scout that's gonna walk first and then there's a patrol that's gonna walk behind him like a bunch of dudes like, you know, ganged up together. So you wanna wait for that first guy to come through and hit the claymore in order to, you know, hit it when these guys are within the kill zone. So to maximize the effect of uh, that claymore. So it's all about murdering people efficiently. Uh, so this this is this is how like pretty much the mechanics work for that claymore. So you have like the end of the day you decide. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna tell you what you how you're gonna conduct your own war, but this is one more option that the player has. Uh, defensive is pretty cool when you have like an all-around defense and see like just like right now 
this pretty much this claymore covers that angle. So anybody that pops out behind that tree and step in the kill zone is going to trigger uh, the mine. So it's also pretty good if um, the claymore is replacing a dead guy, right? So you have like two rangers and two rangers are down. You know, you're waiting for the chopper, you're in the bush somewhere, you don't want to be detected, you don't want to mess around with the enemies, you already got your, uh, your, um, your, your bad news for today. So you set up a bunch of claymores and then you, you wait for the chopper so you kind of know that this, this angle is covered. So anyways, this is what it is for a claymore and specifications and all that jazz. So let's uh, let's see how the claymore works, right, shall we? So what we're gonna do here, uh, we're gonna put a guy within that 60 degree angle. We're gonna put a guy clearly not in it. So, and we're gonna put a guy pretty far from it, but like, so this guy's like right in, a, in the arc of that claymore. This guy is, uh, you know, like a little bit to the left, but still within that 60 degree. This guy in there is sleeping. Uh, this guy here is not in a 60 degree angle and this guy is clearly not. So, Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's see the damage. So this guy got some damage because he's within that angle. And this guy got some damage as well because he is, you know, in that 60 degree kill heart. And this guy has no damage as well. So he, uh, Claymore is working. So here's a cool thing. Trees and rocks will stop the blast of a claymore. So you gotta be careful about what you're gonna do. You know, where you're gonna place your claymore. So let's say we do this like that, and we put all our dudes here. This guy's having a blast in there, man. Okay, so here we go. Rocks protected. Uh, the um, rangers from that blast so that's pretty cool at this point we uh, we know that our claymore algorithm is working and uh, that's good news so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next week or uh, a few days later after next week uh, for another update on what I'm working on I got a lot of stuff to show you and uh, I'll see you later